Okay! Hello everybody and welcome back to Joy Clicks. My name is Christian and we just finished watching the short but entertaining Square Enix 2018 press conference video package. We have a new look at a familiar trailer we got yesterday at the Xbox conference in which we saw the reveal of the Frozen World for Kingdom Hearts 3. But we got a twist on the trailer because we have some new looks at different features coming to the game, including what was announced at the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra event. We got a look at Ratatouille and Remy and Sora chefing something up. Don't know if it's a mini game, don't know if it's a summon, don't know if it's a world. I'm assuming it will be a Ratatouille world because that is what I have read in response to what was shown at the orchestra event and what was announced. But what's more interesting outside of the Disney stuff is we got some more in-depth look at what to expect on the Kingdom Hearts original characters side of things for the story. We got a new look at Zigbar referencing the hearts connected to Sora. We got Sora, Donald, and Goofy in Yen Sid's room being joined by none other than Riku and Mickey. I can't wait to see that team up. We also got a new look at Twilight Town along with a new look at Hainer, Pence, and Olette. An extended look at the conversation and interaction with Xemnas talking to Sora about Roxas, which cuts to Sora talking to Hainer, Pence, and Zexion in Ansem the Wise's control room, talking with Zexion, who seems to be holding one of the cards that was featured heavily in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Again, we end with the reveal that Aqua is one of the Xehanorts that we are going to be dealing with in Kingdom Hearts 3, and we get a stinger of Axel and Kyrie. I cannot wait to see all these different team ups come together in Kingdom Hearts 3. I do wish we got a little more from this trailer. I was expecting a new world at this Square Enix press conference. Hopefully later today at the PlayStation press conference, we get a new look at a new world, Big Hero 6, something that hasn't been announced yet. Maybe it's Star Wars, who knows? But Kingdom Hearts 3, we got some new looks at what to expect from the story on the original character Keyblade War side of things, and I cannot wait for this game. If you haven't checked out my analysis of the full trailer from yesterday, I'll link to that up in the corner, you can see the card right now, but let me know what you thought of the Square Enix press conference in general, I guess. Are you expecting more Kingdom Hearts at E3 like I am? Comment down below and let me know. While you're down there, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new to Joy Clicks and want to see more coverage of Kingdom Hearts over the next few months as we lead up to the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 in January of 2019. Thank you for watching. Let's enjoy the rest of E3. We got Ubisoft and PlayStation later today. But as always, good vibes and good game.